Alright guys, this is how you do a quick mass with your line art in Photoshop. Alright, this is a drawing that I made of a cat and I scanned it in. And then you're going to notice that it's like one piece. The drawing and the background are all together, which makes it difficult to really draw with. So I'm going to hit Command A to select it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I clicked on the color over in the tools palette to change the background to white. So I just type in 0, 0, 0. Then next, um, I'm going to do some work with levels, and I hit Command L, and you can use the eyedropper tool to select certain areas and to clean it up a little bit, and then it gets to a brighter white, and then drag the actual little slider bars over, and then it'll clean up the image and it won't look so gray. And I can go back in with my eyedropper tool and then do the slider bar again to adjust. Alright, so it looks a little bit cleaner and brighter, but I still want it to be on a separate layer. So I'm going to hit Command A, and I've selected, then I can go ahead and cut it by com Command X. I also add a new layer in my layers palette. Then I hit the Q for Quick Mask. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and paste Command V, and it's supposed to be red already. And then I'm going to click the Q. And I need to be on my new layer when I do this. And then you're going to get the actual selection. Now, it's not selecting the actual where the line art was. It's actually selecting the space around it, the negative space. So I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to go ahead and select, select inverse. Okay, now I have where the line art should be. Then I'm going to go to edit. Make sure you're on a new separate layer. Edit, fill. And then I'm going to go ahead and change it to, I already had it set to black, but you can pick different colors. I'm going to leave it black and hit OK. And then it fills it with the black. I'm going to deselect everything. And then now to make sure that it really is on a separate background. Um, I'm, and I'm going to finish doing some cleanup work. I've, there are some spaces I'm just erasing. I hit the uh, E for the eraser tool. And I'm just cleaning that up in certain areas. I'm going to click my background. I didn't mean to do that. It was on accident. All right. You can see I can move the line art. Click my background. Click my color palette. Uh, I'm going to use a different color, maybe an orange. Click OK. I'm going to use the paint bucket tool. I hit the letter G, fill it, and then it fills the background. Okay. So that's a quick, easy way to make your line art separate from an actual background. And thanks for watching. All right. Bye.